Hey YouTube, how's it going? So <clears throat> here we have a buddy's car. I believe it's a 99 Ford Escort. Um, the clutch falls all the way to the bottom. There's no, it's not hard at all. It's completely soft. So uh, I went and looked at this on Friday. I checked the slave cylinder down here for the clutch. Um, it didn't have any leaks. The fluid there is for me trying to bleed it. Um, so that was, that checked out. Then it was low on fluid. I went down under the dash and on the master clutch cylinder, which you can see right here, it's that rusty part there. Um, it was, uh, it's leaking on the inside in the inside of the dash on the firewall. So we're going to have to, um, pull it off replace it and then uh, bleed the system and hopefully that takes care of it um i <clears throat> put fluid in it i try to bleed it and try to pump it and it's just sucking in too much air so we got to replace that part and uh we're gonna get at it and hopefully show you guys a little uh how to do it so we're gonna start off by taking the battery off and then we're gonna take this little hose this hose clamp off over here pull this hose off and then uh, there's a bolt out here on the a nut on, here on this side and there's nut on the inside and then we have a, a brake line on the bottom and uh, get those off and try to get that pulled bobby pin the bobby pin on there there's a cotter pin. Custom bow. You're gonna wanna put that hole down. Pull that hole down off. Should be an eight millimeter. It's missing. Now we have more access. You can see it there. It's all nice and rusty. So we gotta pull that hose off. Pull that line on the bottom. Try to see what size that is. Maybe it's probably like 11 or 12. Maybe 10 millimeter. I think it might be 10. I'm buy another box of those. I don't know. Oh, it's pretty nasty, ain't it? Yeah. Alright. Don't want to mess up the sweet paint job. Yeah, that's the last thing I want to do here. Take that rubber deal off of there. So, quick little trick, guys. On the new, on the new cylinders, you've got these plugs. Once you get that line off, you can stick that plug in there and stop uh, leakage and stuff like that. So now we just gotta get in under the dash and <clears throat> pull the bolt out of there and pull it out of this one and go with it. One out here, one in there, right? Yeah. Easy. Easy peasy boys. Or ladies. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get down on the inside. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down on the inside, guys. Yep. Take a quick look. 
So let's see how good a shot we can get. So here I depress the clutch and see how it just stays down. So you can see right there is the cylinder where the clutch push depresses into it and all this fluid is had been leaking. So it fell there, a seal or something. That's what's causing that leak. So now we gotta get this other bolt or another nut and pull that off. So we pull that the nut off on the inside. And then all you have to do is pull it out. And you can see right here where it had been leaking. So now we just gotta pull that that hose off, put the new one on, slap together, bleed it, and see how it goes. Put the new one in. Yeah. Go make sure the clutch. I'll push it in. Make sure the clutch pedal lines up. Huh? There. Okay, so you have to make sure the clutch rod, is a rod comes out of the clutch pedal that goes into that cylinder. The trick is to get this little thing back in there. Yeah. So now we got to put that nut. I think that nut on the inside in the firewall is probably the hardest, the thing, hardest to thing to do out of this job, and it's just because it's an awkward location. So, to get his wires. That's the stud. There goes that back. And the nut. Get a little shot at it. Well, anyways, the nut is back behind that. other side of this and get it with the camera nope anyways it's back there <clears throat> using a deep 12 an extension and we'll get it I guess so over here I uh started this nut and I started the line and then I gotta get some uh, pliers pull this little clamp off loosen it put it belt right and put it put this hose on the new cylinder so this is the clutch master cylinder and the one that's down here is the slave cylinder you want to get those mixed up and uh we're going back together. So, guys, um, do you want to show them what you did, Cesar, on the inside? Yeah, so I was struggling. It took me about, like, what, eight minutes trying to get that freaking nut on there? Well, it kept falling off. Pro tip, get some plastic, put it just like that, and put your nut on, and your nut won't fall off. Well, my brother already put the nut on there. I'll show you guys, but anyways, plastic, perfect. And then I retine that. <coughs> put that retine that hose. line on. Now we just need to swap this hose onto the nozzle on top of the cylinder. Did you take it off? No, you gotta pull the whole thing out.
go. So now I'm gonna put some some fluid in it, pump it, and see what she does. Got that master cylinder putt cylinder all installed. There's this bleeder down here. So what we're doing is uh we pump it and hold it down. I don't know if you can see the bleeder here. We pump it, hold it down, and then I crack that bleeder open and I got a bunch of air out. I'll show you guys over here now. Um, so if you guys saw how the pedal was down before, so after bleeding it, we pump it now. Now we have a clutch pedal. That was our problem. The culprit was that master clutch cylinder. So the failure most likely was in here. So it has that, that's the way you press down. That's what the clutch depresses down, which I has a rod. Dripped on the shoes. The clutch has a rod and it depresses and applies pressure in here and it pumps it. And then it out of here, you have inlet brake fluid down here. And this is the outlet which runs down to that slave cylinder. Pump it here, creates pressure. So we were pumping it, pumping it, pumping it. I cracked that uh, bleeder valve open and lets the air out. So I'm gonna bleed it a couple more times, make sure we have a real nice stiff clutch, but that's what we're doing. Yeah, good. Lower the hood. pretty simple fix sometimes things might seem uh, more complex than they are you know uh, it's just a simple fluid leak and just change a little part out and get her going um, it helps to do yourself do the job yourself sometimes and save money a lot so cheaper keep watching guys thanks for the watching thanks for the likes thanks for the comments subscribe thanks